Hello, launch instructors. Um, I'm Melanie, you all know me. Anyway, I'm here to um, go through some housekeeping stuff with you. This is um, kind of a training, a casual training on how this is gonna, gonna work. Uh, so I first of all wanna say thank you so much for being willing to teach a class. I think this is really gonna help a lot of people who have lost jobs, will soon be losing their um, unemployment benefits. Um, maybe they didn't get the same amount of hours that they had before, or they got a cut in pay. Whatever it is, um, this program is, is uh, being put together to help those people get through you know, what might become a, a difficult time here in the months ahead. So, um, so I'm gonna start off by saying, um, I'm gonna go through a little bit of the Zoom, if you have not used Zoom before. Um, I think most people have, especially these days, but if you haven't actually run, run the uh, stuff yourself, uh, we'll go some over some of that stuff. And then we're gonna get into the slide template um, for your presentation. It's a template that um, all of you will be using so that we have a kind of a consistent look across the board. And we'll go over a few other things as well. So uh, let's start off with, with uh, the recording. So when you log on, I will be sending you a link. You will have hopefully already chosen your date and time of when you will be doing the recording. Um, I have the time, dates and time scheduled in two hour blocks. So when you choose that time, uh, I get a notification for it. I will schedule a Zoom meeting for a two hour block of time. So let's say that you chose 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on uh, a Tuesday. Um, you will click on that link at that time and you will have two hours to record your 60 minute, your one hour um, presentation. Uh, some of you have chosen, decided that yours is probably going to be a little bit longer than 60 minutes and some of you will be, you know, only 30 minute presentation, whatever, however long it takes to do your presentation. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. You have a whole two hours to work with. So you'll get on, you'll fiddle around, you'll, um, you know, pull up any websites that you may want to be using in your presentation and you'll queue up your um, PowerPoint presentation or Google slide, whatever you're using, and um, you'll get those all ready. And then you'll make, you wanna make sure that on your Zoom screen that you're actually being recorded, your voice is being recorded, so you'll wanna make sure the mute button is not turned on. So at the bottom of your screen, hover over and you'll see this microphone in the bottom left corner. If you are talking and you see green, then it's hot, and then it's recording. If you see a slash mark through it, then it is not recording and you'll wanna click and make sure that it is recording your voice. Um, you'll also wanna make sure like uh, at the, where it says video and there's a little icon of the video camera, you wanna make sure that that is um, not blocked off. You will know that because you'll be able to see yourself on the screen um, if it's working. And uh, let's see, then over in the middle part where it says screen share, you'll hover over that. That is how you'll, you'll share um, what's on your computer screen. Okay, so um, when you click on the link and you, and you are now on Zoom, um, you do not have to be immediately doing your presentation. Okay, you'll have time, you'll get things ready, and then when you are ready to start doing your, your recording, you will introduce yourself and you will introduce the name of your class. That will be the marker for me. That is where I will know where your recording actually is beginning, where your class is beginning. And then when I go to edit, I will edit everything that was before that out. So you don't need to worry. None of that is going to show up on your recording. And then when you end your recording, you end your class, I will make sure to clean up anything at the end of that as well so that that doesn't show up um, where you're filling around and trying to find the end button and that kind of stuff. 
also, if there's anything in the middle where there's some big, you know, flub up, <laughs> so to speak, um, if something really bad happened, maybe the dog started barking or your phone started ringing or whatever, anything. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's terrible. I don't want that in the screen and I don't want to have to start the whole video over again. Um, so don't worry about that. You'll just let me know that there was something in the middle. And you'll give me, send me an email or pick up the phone and call me and let me know uh, what that there's a section that needs to be deleted in the middle. And I will make sure that that gets deleted as well. So just make sure that you're like, okay, I need to start from where I, the you know flub up took place and just continue on with the recording of your of your class okay all right so now i am going to share my screen and i'm going to choose um the google slide and i'm going to hit share all right and so now i am sharing my screen so you'll have the option to either um uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, in my email that I'm going to send out to you, there'll be a link to uh, or an invitation from Google to um, download or make a copy of, I should say, to make a copy of the launch presentation template. And the way you do that is when you're, you're when you open it up in Google, um, in your Google Drive, you will go to uh, file and then make a copy and you will want to make a copy of the entire presentation and when you click on that it will make a copy to your drive um, and you can uh, change the name of it if you want but you'll you'll be making a copy of it to your drive and you'll hit okay all right and so then it'll have a, a copy of it for you and that you'll be able to edit you'll be able to type in um, the name of your class here. If you have a subtitle, whoops, I need to also make sure that I spell things properly here. There we go. Um, so if you have a subtitle, you can put a subtitle here. If you don't have a subtitle, then just highlight it and delete it. Okay. Um, and you make sure that you click on the actual box there in order to delete it. You just hit delete and then that's gone. So if you don't have a subtitle, don't worry about it. But you just go through and we picked kind of a fun template so that it's not too corporate feeling because um, we're not corporate. <laughs> so we kept it a little on the fun side and we don't care for that stuffy corporate feel. There is a table of contents, so make sure that you update that. Um, if there's obviously not enough, we, we put four different um, topics here for you for your table of contents, but you can add more if you have more or delete it if you have less. Um, so each of the different slides gives you different options to work with. If this, uh, if this layout is not a good layout for your presentation, you can obviously just go onto the slide and right click and you can delete it. Um, or if you like this and you're going to have many slides like this, then you can go down and duplicate that slide to have multiple slides in this format. Okay. Let's go down. So there's this type of slide this type of slide there's bullet point slide there's a blank slide let's say that you just want to put a picture in here or maybe you want to add a different type of text um, also when you make a copy of this entire presentation template if the fonts get a little wonky um, it maybe it chooses a different font because you don't have that font style um, and maybe things you know the fonts turn out really big you can just edit things down change the font size you know you can highlight this and go up here and choose a different font style um, but 
if everything looks fine, every, if things are not wonky and the font style shows up that it's, that it's a font style that you can work with, that's fine. But because we really want you to be able to get through this as quickly as possible, adding your own content to this. So let's say that you have a picture that you want to put in. So these pictures here are just place markers. And let's say that you want to delete that and go and get your own image from your computer. And let's say, oh, that's my grandkids. <laughs> uh, Oh my. <laughs> Anyways, let's say that you want to upload a picture like that in there and you can place that where you want it. Simple enough. We have three different kinds of slides where you can put in pictures. We also have a slide here where you can change this quote. Um, and to a quote that you want to use and put the name of the person who did that quote. Um, if you don't like the style of this quote, if you want it bigger in the middle, you're welcome to make it bigger, change the font size. It does not have to be exactly like this. We also included some of these sort of timeline graphics. You're welcome to use these graphics. You do not have to use these graphics. You can delete this slide if you don't like it or have no need for it but it's available here and it's all editable as well. So you can come in and edit that. You can even edit the numbers if you want, um, change the title, all editable. Okay, let's go down to the next slide. Oops. So there's this timeline style. There's this timeline style. This, this particular graphic works well for things like a SWOT analysis. You just go in and edit titles and stuff. If you want to use a, ta a, a table for yours, you're welcome to do that too. Um, okay, and then this slide style is just for the, at the end, your thank you. Um, you can change the whatever content you want it to say. Um, and be sure to leave your information. It, you can leave your information or you don't have to leave your information. It's up to you. If you want, if you want to tell people about your, your business, where they can um, find you, how they can reach you, you can. If you don't want to, you can just say thank you um, and have a nice closing message there. And then we have the last slide that the launch program was presented by Wingspace Coworking and um, our contact information. And if you would please leave that in there, that would be great. All right, now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Here, hello. All right. Um, okay, so you also have received an email from me for filling out the, uh, an instructor form. If, if you um, did not receive that, or uh, didn't see that in your email, or you, need, you did see it, but you can't find it, just send me an email and I will resend that form. So once your presentation is complete, um, then you'll be able to um, fill, fill that form out, including your PDF, um, worksheet. We've asked everyone if they would include a worksheet for their presentation so that students can follow along because you're not going to be doing a live video with an audience. You're just going to be recording the video and they will be able to download and follow along with a worksheet which kind of makes it interactive. Um, and then hopefully you can also provide a, a an action step for them to take or kind of a homework assignment because the students are going to be placed into mastermind groups where they can take after they've done a class they can check in with one another as a group 
and see if, you know, if they were uh, able to complete the assignment that you give them um, at the end. Um, this is, we're trying to make it interactive without actually having you uh, have to teach a live class. Because um, we, want, we want this to be a recording uh, that they can watch at any time and not have to attend an actual live class. All right, let's see. Um, so also if you haven't chosen the date for um, your recording yet, please do that. I sent you out an email so that you can choose a date and time for your recording. Um, once again, if you haven't received that yet, email me and I will send you the link for that where you can do that. And then let's see. Well, you have up to two hours to your recording. Um, all right. Also, let's just be real, okay, in these recordings. It doesn't need to be this highly polished kind of corporate feel um, of a recording. So uh, just keep it casual. All right. We have someone that's showing up, showing up for a meeting here that I'm going to have to go to. But anyway. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to pick up the phone, call me, email me, um, and I will be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, and I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. So um, just um, don't be too stressed out about it. You know this stuff. That's why I asked you to do the class that I asked you to do because you know this stuff and it's gonna be great. And this is gonna be very helpful for a lot of people. So once again, thank you so much for your willingness to do this. All right.